que o IPAC se juntar a essa iniciativa? Porque o IPAC é uma organização que preza pela inovação, que preza por buscar tecnologias sociais que possam trazer ao nosso trabalho e aquelas pessoas, sobretudo os jovens, que são o nosso público a ser trabalhado, tecnologias e métodos que estejam mais avançados em todo o mundo. Então esse é o grande objetivo do IPAC, se juntar as melhores práticas mundiais, seja ela para inclusão laboral juvenil, seja ela para empreendedorismo juvenil através de startups. Erasmus Plus, uh, the official name, is a European program that is dedicated to uh, youth, to uh, young people uh, officially between 13 and 30, and those who work with the young people, and is a program uh, promoting mainly two things, mobility and non-formal education. Uh, okay, so our organization is a DGT association uh, based in Romania, in a rural area around uh, Bucharest, the capital of uh, Romania. What we are doing is basically offering opportunities for young people to develop themselves and to go in other countries to travel, to discover new opportunities for themselves. And the DGT is coming from Do Great Things. Higher Life is a red of organizations with presence in Italy, in Martinica, in Chile and in Spain. Our fundamental objective has always been promover los valores europeos y el trabajo con la juventud. So my organization is Active Youth. Uh, we are an NGO working um, inspire young people and uh, we are trying to concentrate on health. So uh, not only on physical health but also on mental health. Then we have a sub-brand uh, Active Youth Planet which is about environment and uh, trying to raise awareness uh, of people in Lithuania and abroad. Bueno, soy Jorge Galeano, Presidente Nacional de Brigada de Voluntarios Bolivarianos del Perú. Somos una organización nacional que se fundó en 1982. Este año cumplimos 33 años trabajando con el tema del voluntariado juvenil en el Perú. El objetivo de este, de este proyecto, de esta organización, es formar a líderes jóvenes y luego a los jóvenes involucrados a lo que es el servicio social. Nosotros eh, comenzamos la primera versión de Star Explorer, tuvimos una muy buena participación en, en, en este proyecto y eh, el objetivo es cumplir, eh, cumplir con todas las expectativas de este, de este proyecto y, y en conjunto trabajar para poder eh, desarrollar muchas herramientas para el beneficio de los jóvenes. Normalmente cuando se habla de juventud eh, muchas veces olvidamos que simplemente el hecho de ser jóvenes en el mundo en el que vivimos es una causa de discriminación. Tenemos menos oportunidades porque muchas veces eh, carecemos de la experiencia necesaria para poder acceder, por ejemplo, a un buen puesto de trabajo. En esa línea, nosotros, cuando se nos propuso participar en este proyecto, entendíamos que este proyecto realmente iba con los valores de nuestra organización. ¿Por qué? Porque la idea general de este proyecto era dotar a los jóvenes no solo de habilidades para mejorar su empleabilidad, sino también promover algo que es importantísimo, como es el hecho de darle herramientas para que puedan desarrollar sus propias iniciativas empresariales. At first we read the project and it seemed really qualitative, like uh, it was really good. Also we checked the partners, we also seemed really good and uh, we thought that it would be really nice uh, to have this type of project in uh, our uh, uh, organization and um, we also think it's really important to improve uh, skills of youth, especially like in startups so that we could share their ideas, create and uh, um, just uh, have impact on the world by themselves. Basically, I think uh, all the organizations that are partnering in, in this uh, consortium, in this project, they have these key elements in the sense that uh, they, they work uh, with the young people, so they know very well uh, what is the reality in their own communities. 
Vancouver? Uh, it's amazing so far. Like everybody is so welcoming, so nice, and uh, I don't know. I really love it here. It's my first time in Brazil, but it's really amazing. Like uh, from the agenda, like everything is so clear, everything so nicely prepared. Like uh, you know what's gonna happen next. Everything is uh, very well organized, and then all the after activities are also super nice, and I can explore Brazilian culture, and um, I really like it. And uh, I think I will come back to Brazil once again. <laughs> Cuando se nos propuso realizar este meeting aquí en Brasil, para nosotros evidentemente lo más importante era la definición de las líneas generales de este proyecto. Pero también era muy importante el hecho de conocer a una organización como Instituto Promover, que para nosotros es uno de los referentes dentro de Brasil en el trabajo juvenil. Estoy súper contento, una ciudad muy bonita, su gente muy muy bonita y sobre todo el instituto que nos, acoge, nos ha acogido aquí en, en su casa, que es una forma muy eh, directa de conocer, ¿no? O sea, eh, de conocer de cerca qué es lo que hacen, conocer de cerca al equipo de trabajo de, de, de la organización que te compenetra más a, a poder trabajar, a poder eh, cooperar y poder coordinar muchas cosas. The people are very nice, very friendly. Uh, the infrastructure I think is good, in my opinion, at least what I saw. We still have to, to, to travel around. In, in uh, IPAC is fantastic. I mean, you work with so many young people from all the levels, you know, starting from the basis and uh, going upper and upper. So it's fantastic. It's something that we really need. Para o IPAC sediar um, um evento como esse, que trazem experiências de organizações de várias partes do mundo, é uma experiência fantástica, porque nós podemos vivenciar aquilo que está acontecendo em várias comunidades juvenis, em vários aspectos mundiais, e trazer para essa experiência para, para nosso dia a dia e aplicar também os nossos trabalhos. Sem contar que essa troca de cultura entre as pessoas que aqui estão, entre os jovens que frequentam o nosso trabalho, também é muito rico para essa organização.